When I was a kid, there was this guy on PBS named Jerry Baker, and he was pretty much like the Bob Ross of lawn care. He even wrote a bunch of gardening books, and he swore by this lawn tonic that would make your lawn green pretty much overnight. So today, we're gonna test it out. It contains only a couple household ingredients, and in theory, these should green up your lawn, but I still have to admit that I'm a little skeptical about these kinds of things. So in this video, we will be putting Old Man Jerry's tonic to the test and see, is this a viable option or just some more snake oil from the 90s? So we're gonna go ahead and apply the lawn tonic to here and we'll check back in a few days and see if there's any difference. I think this is gonna be the perfect place because even if I dropped one granule of fertilizer in it, I know we would be able to see a difference. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So over here is the list of ingredients that you need for his green up lawn tonic. It's uh, some dish soap, make sure that it's not antibacterial, that it's the regular kind. You can use any kind as long as it doesn't have antibacterial properties to it. Some clear ammonia, you can find this at your local big box store like Walmart or something like that. A can of beer and some molasses, which you can find pretty much anywhere. And then some general all-purpose plant food. All right, so the first thing we're going to put in there is our can of beer. Actually, it's one cup of beer. So I'm going to put eight ounces in there. So that looks like it's about eight ounces. Now, I'm now it's right here in a hose end sprayer. We're gonna use this to spray it on the lawn. I'll show you how this works in a minute. Next, we're gonna put one cup of ammonia. Be careful with this stuff because it can be a little bit strong for you to smell, so you might wanna wear a mask. All right, that's one cup. All right, next we're gonna put a half a cup of this dish soap in there. Right there's a half a cup. All right, next is the molasses. We're gonna put a half a cup in there. All right, next up on the list, it asks for one cup of plant food. So I'm gonna measure out this one cup of water right here. Then I'm gonna take this Super Thrive right here. The mixture for one cup is just about a drop or two. So I'm just gonna put a drop. So I'll put that over here into the hose end sprayer as well. And that's the whole mixture right there. Now Jerry doesn't say exactly how much area you should spray this on, but he does say that you should give the lawn a good soaking. So I don't want to over apply because I heard that if you apply too much ammonia, you could burn your lawn. So with this little area down there, it's about 250 square feet. So I'm going to apply about one fifth to one fourth of it. Now I'm not a scientist, but I'm going to try to explain to you why each one of these could potentially be beneficial to your lawn because I kind of see where he's going here. The soap is gonna act as a surfactant, which is gonna break the surface tension of the ground. So anytime that you water your lawn, water will be able to access your roots good. A lot of liquid aeration products and uh, wetting agents actually contain surfactant properties, which the dish soap definitely has. So I could definitely see that. The ammonium is gonna be a source of nitrogen. And for some of you guys that might be new to lawn care, nitrogen is what makes your lawn green. Anytime you go to the store and you see like the Scouts lawn food in, in the big bags, those fertilizers, the number one nutrient in there that greens up your lawn is nitrogen. And ammonium is a heavy source of nitrogen. They actually use something called ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate inside regular fertilizers to green up your lawn. So I could see how this could be a source of nitrogen. The beer is gonna be a source of sugar. Anytime that you add sugar to your lawn, then you're gonna increase the microbial activity and that's gonna help break down thatch and just ultimately lead to a better and healthier, healthier soil. And also molasses is a heavy source of sugar that's gonna be applied to your lawn. If you take a look at any liquid dethatch products that are on the market, they usually contain molasses. So I could definitely see why applying molasses can help out. And then the last thing is the general all-purpose plant food. I don't really understand why he wants us to put this in there. This is like a homemade lawn tonic but I'm gonna be using Super Thrive. It has a bunch of vitamins and minerals that plants can use. You'll have the greenest grass on the block on your side of the fence in your lawns like, in your, in your, in your lawns like.
All right, so it's been two days now, and I gotta say, it looks like we got a pretty decent color response from it. I don't think it's as effective as like some other liquid fertilizers, but if you just so happen to have these things in your pantry, I definitely think it's worth giving a shot to see how your grass does with it. But hey, if you guys found any value in this content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you love lawn care, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, and until next time, this is George from Princess Cut. Peace.